everybody, this is Rani with another tutorial about Canva. Uh, today we are going to answer Melissa's question. Melissa asked, um, has anyone created a tier of flyer in Canva? So if so, can you share your design with me, please? So I was not quite sure what she meant by a tier of flyer, but then I, I followed up with a question and I asked, is, does that mean that you want to create a flyer with a piece that you can tear a piece of it at the bottom so that people can walk away with your contact and information? She said yes. So uh, let's do this. Let's create this kind of flyer and answer Melissa's question. OK, so I'm here in Canva and um, this is my Canva free account. So uh, I want to create this tutorial with the free account so you guys can reproduce it. You don't need to have Canva for work. So let's go ahead and create a document. First, let's choose the format. And I believe to create a flyer like this, the best option would be to go with the A4 document. So let's go for A4. Um, let's find the A4 format. There it is, A4 document. Let's open this. All right, now I have my A4 document. Uh, I need to start this um, flyer with a design. So I'm gonna find a layout that looks nice. And let's pretend I want to organize an auction because I'm a sneakerhead, right? So I want to uh, sell a very rare pair of sneakers. Uh, so I have a couple of photos here and we are going to sell this pair of sneakers, which is a rare uh, limited edition. Um, of this uh, Nike shoe. So I want people to come to my house, see the shoe and just have an auction, right? So I want to invite people for this event. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is of course import this, um, this uh, image in Canva. And then we want to select the right layout for this. So layout. And I'm looking for something with a big photo placeholder where I can show uh, the shoe, of course. And then um, I can add all the text that I need. And then we will create this section where people can tear off a piece of the document to walk away with my phone number, for example, or my messenger contact. So they can message me and they can have the direction and the location of the event. So let's, do a, let's go ahead and do this. Um, let's find one layout that would work for us. Let me see. Mm, this could do. Let's try this. So click on this. You can see it's actually a document with two pages, right? Two pages. When you see a little two here, it means this layout has two different pages. And when you click on it, you can see both. So I will click on this one and it will import the layout here. It's going to load. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is obviously to import my photo. So I click on the placeholder and I just drop my photo here. All right, it's a little bit too big. Let's see now, still quite big. So what I can do is to reduce the size like this. And I'm reducing the size of the placeholder. Okay, this looks nice. All right, so the next thing is uh, changing the text and everything. So this is not very the, really the point of this uh, tutorial. So I'm going to do this quickly. I'm just going to put sneaker auction. Auction. And this one will be in, well, it's not really legible. So I'm gonna find another font, which is more appropriate. Yes, this is not bad. Sneaker auction and what else? So here we have information, right, about the date. Let's keep this date, let's keep this time uh, from 8, 7 p.m., uh, that's a bit too much. Let's do from, 7 to 9 p.m. Okay. Come on time. Perfect. Uh, this, this. Okay, let's just change the date because this is in the past. I don't know, that's 2019. Let's put 2018 and let's put uh, August.
just five. Okay, that's good. All right, now we need to create that section at the bottom um, that people can tear off. All right, so what we need to do, I need a little bit more space because this is too small, right? So I'm going to move everything up a little bit. So for this, I select the whole thing and I'm just using the arrows. I'm just uh, pressing my up arrow here and I have my shift button. Uh, I'm holding my shift button. Otherwise, you can just increment up and down a little bit. But if you hold your shift button, then you can increase up and down for uh, like much quicker. OK, so this is good. And now we are going to expand this section right here. Get rid of this one. OK, so this section right here is going to be our tier of section. OK, so how do we do this? There are a couple of options. We can we could use some lines. That's one of the things we could do. We could use some shapes uh, like rectangles, for example. So we could create a rectangle with the information we want to people to walk away with inside that rectangle and then just duplicate the rectangle. So let's go ahead and go for this. Um, so what I need is a shape. OK, so I will use shapes here. Which shape? I will just go for a simple rectangle and we could go for this one. All right. Kind of want it to be the same size as. OK, so now the the challenge is to understand how wide should my rectangle be, because I would like all the rectangle to be basically the same uh, width. Right. So I'll go ahead for something like this. It doesn't need to be completely perfect. You can zoom in a little bit to see this. You can see it's a little bit too high. And Canva helps me with these purple lines, right, to align uh, and have the right size. So this okay, should be fine. If you're not sure, you can zoom in even more. All right, let's, let's, let's say this is good enough. Now, I can change the color of this for, um, let's say, something in the grayish tones, something like this, right? And I can give it some transparency. OK. So what I can do, um, first, I need to fill the information inside this rectangle. Then I will duplicate the rectangle maybe eight, seven times. So I can fill this whole row here. Uh, with the same information. So let's go ahead and put the information we need first. So let's say we are just going to enter a phone number. So I don't know, I'll just put my phone number with wrong numbers. Uh, so that's zero. Uh, okay, and all right, let's say that's my phone number. It's not my phone number, don't try it. Uh, but let's say it is, and let's make this smaller. Let's use a font that we already have in the document so it's um, consistent. All right, this is not bad. Let's make this a little bit smaller. All right, and bold. OK, so the next thing I'm going to turn around this text so it's in the right orientation. OK, looks decent, might be a little bit too big. For my, yeah, it is too big. So what I'm going to do is reduce the font even more and go something like 16. Let's see if this works. Still a bit big, so I'll go 14. All right, it is aligned. That's perfect. So that's pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is duplicate this. First, I'm going to group it. So let's group. Uh, my rectangle here, like the grayish uh, rectangle in the background and this. So I select them both and then I group, right? So the next thing, I'm going to copy this. All right, and just paste it next to it. So the trick here, if I want people to see, if I just leave it like this, it doesn't seem so much like there are two 
things going on. So what I can do is change the opacity of this one box. So I will ungroup, select the box and the opacity, I will make it slightly less transparent. So there is a difference in my design and we can see, okay, oh, there are two different uh, boxes here. I can tear off one of them. So I'll just continue copying these boxes and then I can just regroup this one. Sometimes it's difficult to select exactly both of them. So what I do usually I click outside of the visual and then I just select them. But then uh, you can see this big red rectangle is also selected. So I just hold shift and click on it. So it deselects it. And now only this one is selected. I will group and then copy. There and then now it's just simply a question of copying these rectangles. We might have a problem when we come to the, the, the end of this row because I, I really didn't measure anything. I just went ahead and created the, uh, the rectangles as such. So we'll see. Let's just do it until the end and see what happens at the end of it. There. Okay. Mm, if you see that there, are, it's not completely aligned or touching the other box, you can always um, use the arrows like this to adjust uh, like little details. So almost there. All right. See, this one is not completely uh, touching the other box, so you can see slightly this red line in between them. So I'll just select it and move it with the arrow so you don't see the line. And there. So that's what I was saying. You see, we are not exactly um, touching the end of the document and there's not enough space to add one more box. So what I can do is just simply select them all there and select the one behind and try to center this. So Canva will help me center this. It's not the best way to do it, but that's one way of doing it. All right, so that's pretty much uh, how you do this. Now people can understand, they can tear off one of these. If you want to make it even more explicit, you could use like a discontinued line. Let's see if Canva has it. I'm just searching for line and I will reduce the document so you can see how it looks like. Oh, actually when you zoom out, it's, um, it seems like Canva, yeah, these are my lines. Um, when you zoom out, it seems like the boxes have moved. So you would have to export this, um, this document to see how it looks because things have this tendency to move around a little bit when you export them in Canva. It's not the most stable. Um, let's see what happens when we insert one of these lines. Maybe it's going to be too big. Yeah, this line is going to be too big, so I won't be able to use this um, to indicate that people can cut or tear off because you cannot reduce the, the width of these lines. That's one of the problems with the lines in Canva. So let's just leave it like this for now. Let's export this and see how it looks. I will export this as a JPEG. Okay. And there it is. Hope it's not all over the place. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Uh, of course, a few adjustments could be made to adjust um, this, this, for example, this line here. Uh, we can still see the line, so I could just move this box slightly so it covers the line. But other than that, it's pretty decent, and that's how you do your tier of flyer.
Thanks for watching.